Hey guys, welcome back to another Let's Play. This one's called Pharaoh. This one, I don't know how old this one is. Uh, it's kind of uh, picked off the pile here. But I, if you watch my channel, you know I love puzzle games. So we are going to get into this right now. All right, here we get the game starting here. Impression Games, okay. They're, they make um, a, few, a lot of other games. Back in the 90s, late 90s, early 2000s. So we got... We the Pharaoh is oh. the heart of Egypt. Hi there. Thank you. Are you done? The land is its body. Okay, we're just going to keep on talking. And the people are its blood. Are its blood. I love this already. Okay, they... Done. Nice cutscene. One day you will rule Egypt, my son. Oh. Am I the Pharaoh's boy? Your armies will thunder across the boundless desert. Crazy. Nice. And it shall tremble beneath them. Okay. As it shook beneath the pounding feet who are they fighting? of the countless men who toiled in the burning sun to build your grandfather's eternal mm, resting. Toiled more like slaves, right? right. Mm -hmm. He was Egypt, just as I am Egypt. And as you will be Egypt. His face is my face, and your face. His strength, our strength. Huck. For his blood runs in our veins. He labored a lifetime to build this monument, which now watches over us. And when it was complete, graphics so are pretty cool for back in the day, you know. Yet even as my father was taken by Anubis, a new life came forth. Oh, is that me? I love my baby. And as your grandfather was bound in fine linen, so were you wrapped in swaddling clothes. And a new day dawned for Egypt. In time, Why do it look like a mummy already? must heed the call of Osiris. Not me. Embark on a final Father and grandfather. The immortal realm. For when the day of Pharaoh's reign is at an end, so the night of his eternal sleep begins. A new one begins. While he slumbers undisturbed, so shall Egypt endure. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, Pharaoh. Nice. Okay. So let's see what we have to do here. I love the music. It's pretty cool. Pharaoh Cleopatra. There's something wrong with my screen. Let me see if I can fix this. All right, let's see. That's better. I'm gonna put in Wolf Blood. My family name, right? Okay, begin family history. There we go. Uh, your family begins the uh, predestined, pre dynastic period, pre dynastic, dynastic period leading to the small band of homelands through the, through the arts and the civilization. Your leadership helps to set Egypt on its course to eventual greatness. Still a glimpse. Only into the cat. You can't. Oh, you can't skip ahead. Okay. All right. Well, let's get together on this. It is said that the journey of a thousand miles begins. And we got more talking. Step. Okay. That's okay. So may the story of a great nation begin with one dream. Is that me? The Maybe Red me. Land has given birth to such a dream. Red Land. Clans of nomads carry it in their hearts. Across the immeasurable desert and into the land of Egypt. Immeasurable deserts. Okay. I like these little cutscenes. They're pretty cool. All right. What do we got? Oh, my Welcome screen stops. Welcome to ancient Egypt, land of the pharaohs. Keep my screen from moving. Here you'll moving. participate in the history of one of the greatest civilizations the world has ever seen. In an epic story that epic. spans more than 15 centuries and two dozen generations. Generations, generations. You must lead one family, generation by generation, from its earliest beginnings in Egyptian prehistory, through the dawn of civilization, Station, to the establishment of a unique and powerful empire, and beyond. And beyond, and beyond. Our story begins more than 5,000 years ago, along the banks of the Nile River in an area known as Nut. Here, a small confederacy of clans struggles to eke out an existence in the harsh environment. 
my way. With you my at way. its head, your family leaves this small settlement. Cool. Objective six meager sandies, create an area of housing and match immigrants uh, watch immigrants arrive. Okay. Village is born, nooped, doop doop doop. Uh, settlers were suitable place to live and a network of roads to allow eventual inhabitants. So I got zero people now. I got 5,000, whatever. Efficiently, uh, easily and efficiently. Build areas of housing and soon you see people move into the village. Cool. Roads. Click and drag the mouse to build long lengths of roads one at a time. Okay. Uh, every intersection walkers must choose which way to go so each intersection lessens your control of the actual route. All right, plan roads carefully and view intersections as possible to ensure that people walk where you want them to. The path by which the immigration reach your city is known as the Kingdom Road. Kingdom Road, okay. Migrants always you need free passage from the kingdom to the city's housing areas. If you isolate them, neighborhoods, a virtual link outside the world will disappear. Oh. I don't want to disappear. All right. To exit, just hit the right click. Okay. All right. Um, okay, so I need to uh, start with the roads, right? That's how we do it here in the United States. <laughs> start with the roads. Oh, okay, so I can drag one at a time. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay, this sc your scrolling is a little awkward. Come on, straight line. Here we go. All right. Did build a few houses here. So I don't know what a meager shanty is or whatever it said. Is a sturdy hut? No. I don't remember what it said. Alright, so... Let's build a condominium. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, we'll build a few here. Um, water? Oh, well, they need... I guess they need some water, huh? Um, what down here? One in each neighborhood. Everybody's got sufficient water. Uh, ostriches, okay. Do I need more housing? When do the people start coming? It's already been a Oh, here they are. They've already started coming. Okay, we'll make a ghetto. <laughs> a ghetto area. Where it's overpopulated, overcrowded. Okay, so no population yet. Oh, that's all the... What's all the other buttons down here? Um, right click on that. The unk. Oh, that's just the instructions on what we did. I think there's an undo button. There's this destroy. Okay. Alright. Uh, oh, 19. Yay, I got 19 people. Um, what do I want to do now? I, do I... I got, I got wall, walls. That's all I can do so far. I guess I have to wait for my population to go up. Do I need like a hundred people? I don't know. Look at they love my city. <gasps> Yay! Come and work for me. Taxes are low right now. <laughs> All right. I don't know what to do. Oh, here we go. Sturdy hat. How's can it evolve as it needs a supply from the local food bazaar? Now visit by tax collector, not paying taxes, resident report, no crime at all. Huts need food from the bazaar. I don't have a bazaar. Okay, so I somehow I have to improve the neighborhood. Uh, okay. Sturdy hat. So I, I need a bazaar. How do I get a bazaar? I'm going to make some more housing over here. It just looks weird with that bush right there. Tree and bush. All right. Um, do I need some more wells? Get them some more water. Come on. There's plenty of water for these houses. Alright. Uh, oh, wait. Whoa, scare me. The good population needs a reliable source of food and some means of storing and distributing it. Certain animals, like the ostriches in this region, can be hunted for game. Granaries, sword, and game other foods and bazaars distribute the food village inhabitants. As with most working structures, in order to function properly, these buildings must be located within reach of the housing and the city must have enough workers to staff them. Hunting for food. Huh. Building a hunting lodge close to the ostrich flocks and the hunters will set out in search of prey. If successful, they will bring the carcasses back to the lodge 
Okay, they'll be pushing the nearest green resource stores. Different workers from the bazaars access the needs of the neighborhoods and serve acquired food by nearby granaries and deliver them food to the house in the immediate vicinity to meet these needs. Okay. Okay, so they they go out and hunt, they bring the food back, somebody comes and picks them up, brings it to the granary, and somebody from the bazaar brings it to the granary. Build grannies and bazaar by clicking the storage and distribution structure button. And ultimately, your goal in this mission is to transform some of your crude huts into meager shanties. This accomplishment by proving them water and for the bazaar, making sure that they're not too close to unsightly industrial buildings, which discourage improvements from lowering the accessibility of the area. You eventually learn the various ways to increase the area's desirability. For now, simply locate near. Okay. Overseers, years, the granaries is now available to provide information and advice in time. You'll have many advisors to help run your city. Nice. All right. Right click. Right click. Right click. No. Nope, right click. Okay. All right. So, okay. So now we have our storage area. Uh, I need a granary. Is that right? Can I? Get, okay. Can't be too close to the houses, right? I need to make a, oh, make a road. There we go. All right. And then um, bazaars. People need um, grocery stores, right? Can I put one up? No, I can't. I'll put one right there. No, I, nothing right there. Okay, nothing up my sleeve. All right, hunting lodge. Okay, we got to put these somewhere right? close to the granary. And do I bring this? I'm not going to bring it back because I don't want them going all over the circles all the time. Hunting lodge, okay. All right. We got plenty of hunting lodges. Everybody needs to hunt. Go get some food, guys. You don't work, you don't eat. Anyway. I love this music. This is cool. All right. So. Um, I got, I really don't like the scrolling business. Okay, so there's some food going in the granary. Um, lots of people coming. I got 330 people. Ostriches uh, are nearly invisible when they put their heads in the sand. <laughs> Ostriches are nearly invisible oh, when they so put their funny. heads in the sand. People say that this city has plenty of food to go around. Good. Open land, prime building, immigrant, soldiers, resources, gathering, can walk upon it. Okay. Um, uh, okay. I'm so. the most popular person in the city. A lot of people need jobs. Oh, you're the job guy. Okay. So, Barzai traders are currently looking for food to sell. Okay. Um, oh, there he is. Okay. We produce or import enough food for about 600 people. Great. That's because I only have 300. We produce a lot of extra food, but our growing city will need more. One granary we holds for three months. Nice. Current housing can hold 66 more people. Overall, people are coming and want to come to our city. So I'm doing good, right? Hot dwellers, almost 200. So, okay, so that was estate dwellers. So I'm at the very bottom mud. They're basically mud houses. All right, so. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Do I have what? Am, do I, what can I do here? Um, fill the green. Oh, so I gotta wait for them to fill the green. Somebody keeps taking my food. There's all the overseers. That'll help later on. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Wait for the granary to fill up, or the bazaars to fill up, and then the granary will fill up. Oh, scare me! Well, you managed to supply the village grains with food and access to the water, clean water supply, which is much preferred over water. Well, of course. Like wells, these must be built on land and underlying groundwater, indicated by the presence of green grass growing. Water supplies need access to employees and nearby housing. Once up and running, the water supplies will dispatch a water carrier to deliver buckets of clean drinking water to all the houses in the immediate vicinity. Click Overlays Water to see which houses have access to clean water, and simply water or no water at all. Mission briefing. To complete this mission, you need to provide six sturdy huts. I thought it was meager shanties. Oh, they involve in the meager shanties. Okay. I understand. Okay. So, there's the water supply. Okay. 
So they, they're, they're demanding clean water. And I shall give it to them for now. <laughs> That's not where nowhere. Okay. Um, what am I doing? Water, okay. All right. Uh, everybody happy with water? Clean, fresh water? Should I get rid of the walls or just keep them as backup? Yay, I did it. Victory clues to proceed. All right, guys. Well, that's... Oh. Well done. By filling your people's bellies with nourishing food and protecting their homes from fire and collapse, collapse, you have helped this fledgling civilization take its first step on the long road of history. History, history, history. All right, so I got a final culture rating of zero, final prosperity rating zero, final kingdom rating of 70, final city funds 4,591, final population 444, mission was complete in five months, baby. Uh, least difficult, very easy. Uh, score 9202. You now hold the highest score for this mission. You have bested Viridian. <laughs> That's because I didn't finish the first time. I wanted to record this. All right, guys. Well, I thank you very much for watching this. What? Oh. After many Oops. years and the passing of a generation, we'll do this next your time. Family has resettled in the area. This will give you a little preview. In Upper Egypt. Here, a small band of local rulers is attempting to extend its influence over Lower Egypt and all lands along the River Nile, and to unite this realm under its own house with one supreme leader. Establishing Thinis as a thriving city like nothing ever seen before will prove the worthiness of the Thinite Confederacy and help them gain supremacy over Lower Egypt and the other factions vying for power. In time, this will mean providing the population with entertainment and building entertainment temples to worship the region's patron deity. They're my slaves, to baby. Build a city this grand will require a substantial supply of cash. Yeah. You'll find rich deposits of gold ore in Ooh. Venice, and harvesting them should be your first priority. Okay. All right, sounds good. All right, so the next one is Thinis. I, I don't remember what city we were just doing, but um, all right. We'll see you guys in the next one. I love this game. I love puzzles. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, guys, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let's me know that you really like the content that we do, and it really helps out our channel.